Hello everyone, welcome to Myers Creek Beach. This beach is very flat and it goes on forever. Which is very popular for multiple reasons. There's a lot of people that go surfing, but there's a, a lot of people that come hang out and just have a good time here at the beach. Just relax and it's almost like a meditation. Enjoying the sounds of the waves and the, the birds and the mist. The fog gling into the mountains is very natural, very peaceful. But anyway, let's go see what we find and go from there. So today was supposed to be a beautiful, clear sunset. <laughs> it's cloudy and foggy and I can't see much, so I'm trying something different. I put a, a filter on my camera to try to slow down and get some pictures here. Let's see what happens. Good morning everyone, welcome back to Myers Beach. I'm not, everybody that knows me knows that I'm not a, a sunrise type of photographer, I'm more sunset. Getting up in the morning is not as easy as staying up late. And another reason here in this beach and in the, the west coast is it's very mountainous, very rocky. And as you can see behind me, the sun hasn't cleared the mountains yet, so all the rocks are in the shade. There's no light. It doesn't, uh, it's not very conducive for photography. It's just now starting to peek through. If I show you this rock here, the sun is just now starting to come through, and it's a little past 8.30. But for the last week, I've been waking up early, attempting to do uh, sunrise photography. But the fog, the fog and the rain and the, the clouds, you just, it's been gray. But this morning it was beautiful. The sun came out, the clouds were pink and orange and, and I wasn't ready. <laughs> That's one of those things with photography, you just, for one whole week I was ready, I was prepared and nothing happened. And then the one day I decided to take it a little bit slow and I missed my chance. Oh well, there'll, there'll be other days. Let's go see what we can find here. It's a beautiful beach.
So whatever tide schedule I'm using, it's not really working out for me. Uh, the tide is coming up and the rocks are not exposed. I was trying to go find the starfish, excuse me, sea stars. Apparently they don't identify as fish anymore. So they're sea stars. And I wanted to, to find a few and show you what they look like, but uh, you can't see them. <laughs> the tide's coming up and it's getting a little dangerous, so I'm gonna head back. And, just in case you were wondering about my new uh, sexy boots. They're stylish, it's not just functional. The water here is so cold, I need to protect my feet. And my running shoes are not sealed for... They're running shoes, they're not walking on the wet sand and I think... Right now it's starting to look pretty. But the water, the ocean's coming in, the tide's coming in, so I gotta get out of here kind of trapped here as you can see there's the cliff and here's the water coming up so I found this little waterfall here it's just at the base of the parking lot and I wanted to get a picture but I'm waiting for the light to come up the problem is the tide is coming up too and from here there's really not many places to go besides climbing up a rock <laughs> so I'm gonna wait for the right light because I want a little bit of light here on the water at least reflected light from the rock but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it I want to get the ocean and I want to get a wide angle so I put this 16 to 35 on my camera and uh, yeah the tide is coming up so I don't know how much time I have I really want to get this shot and I want to get it a, a pretty wide angle to get the whole scene. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful little hidden waterfall that's, people just walk by it and it's, I, I think it could be a really special picture. The biggest challenge I got right now is trying to balance the image because I want to be up enough so I can follow the river but I also want to have a perspective to make this waterfall look bigger than what it is. That's my biggest challenge right now is trying to compose this uh, as the ocean is coming in. It's coming in fast and strong so let me see what I can do here. Uh, it's time to go and the tide is coming in cl much closer than what I wanted it to be so it's time to go home. <laughs> the waterfall got all muddy I don't know what happened and now it's nothing but just a lot of mud coming out. Hello again. It's a beautiful day out still, so I decided to come back and try the same waterfall but with different light. It's afternoon light. I was going to wait a little later, but the sun's going to go behind the clouds. So I think this is it for light. I just wanted to compare the images and show you why it's important to go back to the same spot over and over again. Gold Beach is seven miles away from this beach. So it's a, it's a fairly short drive to come back and try different compositions with different lighting and just to get different results to see what's, what looks better. I keep looking but I haven't seen any more sea stars. I don't know if they're uh, relocated because of the storm or I don't know but they're just not here and usually there's tons of them so I'll, I'll 
If I can't find any, I'll show you pictures from previous visits. But uh, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed because this is usually a, a guarantee that you're going to see some of those stars and um, sand dollars and I haven't seen any yet. So I guess I'll keep looking. I'll keep looking and if I find any, I'll include them in the video. If not, I'll do pictures from previous visits. I walked all the way to Hunter Hunter Cove and I found a couple of sea stars finally let me show you here up close they hang out here in the tidal pools and they're all full of sand and kind of dirty probably from the storm but it looks like sunset is gonna be spectacular you can see that it just looks awesome someone surfing So here we are again. Uh, this is day three or day four of making this video of Meyer, Myers Creek Beach. Uh, this morning it was raining. It was low tide, but it was raining, and it was a, a pretty high low tide. So I couldn't I couldn't walk over to that rock to that shark fin. Uh, it's beautiful over there. You can walk around the rocks and behind some of the big big rocks. Anyway, I did find a sand dollar last night when I was walking and this one is broken I think this storm kind of disturbed a lot of what's natural here but usually you can find some of these that are a hole and a lot of people collect them just you know just because they're they're cool they're a sand dollar but anyway uh, I'm running out of time today is Friday afternoon I have one day to edit the video and try to publish it by Sunday. So I think I'm gonna leave it here. I got some beautiful pictures and some amazing perspective of this place. So I think it's a, it's a good introduction to Myers Creek Beach. Uh, let me know in the comments which style of picture you like of that waterfall. If you like the morning light or the afternoon light direct on the water. I'm curious to see what people like. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click that like button and subscribe if you haven't. It really, really does help me out a lot. I really do appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. I'm trying to figure out what else to do. There's so much to explore that I'm ready for more. Bye.